Hi folks, Westbox Gaming here with the next battle report for you. We have the brand new to the channel and quite long in coming Tyranids of High Thermidor. High Fleet Thermidor. Very nice. And we have the Horus Heresy era Dark Angels of the 373rd Company. And here we go. They're the best company. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to West Parks Gaming uh, with another 40k battle report. Very excited today, we've got two brand new armies for you. Uh, the Tyranids, which have been a long time coming, <laughs> but the wait has definitely been worth it. We'll obviously give you a bit more detail on these uh, in the little army list section in a second. But we have a thousand points of Tyranids taking on a thousand points of... Heresy era Dark Angels. So using the 30k rules. And we are playing the Eternal War mission The Emperor's Will. We have Vanguard Strike Deployment. We've got two objectives, because that's what the scenario is. So the Dark Angels have placed theirs in their deployment zone there. And the Tyranid one is over there in No Man's Land. We have the Tyranids currently going first, unless Will decides to seize. Arthur has rolled up Knight Attacker. So he is playing, he is enforcing Knight Fighting. Yeah. Will has rolled... The boost to cover one in... Um, <laughs> yeah, the strategic... Yeah. Yep, the move through cover one. Uh, on. we're, as you can tell, we're really good at this. Um, psychic Powers. Arthur has got on his Hive Tyrant. Dominion, the Horror, and Warp Blast. Okay, on the... Zoanthrope. Zoanthrope. Uh, Warp Blast, Psychic Scream, and Dominion as well, obviously. Yep, and the Broodlord. Broodlord has got Dominion and Horror, the Horror. Excellent. Standard. <sighs> Can't get over that base, it's amazing. <laughs> um, okay, Will, do you want to try and seize? I do, I need a dice. Okay, let's try and find one. And one of mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the middle down there? Come on. So does he seize? Oh, no, so he does not. Okay, folks, this is 1,000 points of Horus Heresy Dark Angels um, using the Chosen Duty Right of War. Yes, indeed. Okay, so, well, let's talk us through what you've got today. Okay. The HQs, I've got a Legion Centurion who has been upgraded to the Delegatus mm -hmm. uh, special rule, I guess, <laughs> or the special command option. Um, he's got a Master Crafted Power Fist and his Bolt Pistol. Uh, and he looks like a chaplain, but he ain't. <laughs> He's also got a refractor field and artificer armor. Then the second HQ choice I have is a Damocles Command Rounder, yep. which he's going to be riding in as well. Okay. As a personal little ride. Then on to troops, we've got two units of veteran tactical squads, which I can take because of the right of war as uh, compulsory troops options. Uh, they're all armed with Bolt pistols apart from the two heavy bolters, which have got the molecular acid rounds unique to the Dark Angels. Oh, lovely. Yep. And they are in a rhino. Oh, uh, the sergeant of the squad's also got artificial armor. Okay, Dex. And, and there's the second one. Those. Over here. Uh, I also have a Legion Vexilla in both of those for the nice re-rolls. Okay. In case I run away. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Elites. And then we've got a Contemptor Cortis Dreadnought, so it's the cheaper one with the slightly worse side armour. And rear armour as well, I believe. Um, no, rear armour is the same, just lower weapons and ballistic skill. Um, and he's got a Kerry's assault cannon and a power fist with a twin linked bolter. And then last but not least, we have got the Whirlwind Scorpius, using yep. the 40k uh, Stalker or Hunter model, but um, I thought it looked close enough. Yeah, to no, I quite like that model actually. Um, um, so that's just got that, I don't think it's got any other upgrades, but it's just got the uh, the, the big missile launcher on yeah, the front. Yeah, cool. So that is a thousand points of Dark Angels. That's good stuff. It's nice to see another heresy list on the channel. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how long is this taking you to sort out? Uh, three days, four days. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice, <laughs> I like it. Okay, and uh, let's get on to Arthur's Tyranids. Now 
This is very exciting times. First time we're seeing the Tyranids from Arthur on the table. Um, this is his thousand points to take on World's Dark Angels. Thousand five, I think. Oh, thousand five. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, bloody I'm, cheating. I'm, I'm, yeah, if I lose, wins that round. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright, we're going to let Will take melter bombs on his Deligatus or something <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah. just to balance out the points. Yeah. Okay, so, let's go through what we've got. If we start with... With... This big chap here. Pretty obvious loadout there, wings, <laughs> dual twin-linked, um, twin-linked barriers with brain each worms. Yep. Um, and electroshock grubs. Okay, cool. Um, what are these little chaps down here? They're little wound marker grubs. Uh, the base. <laughs> so cool. So we don't need dice scattered all over the place. Okay, fantastic. Uh, any more HQs? Uh, no, that's it. Troops, H gene stealers with irrelevant toxin sacks. <laughs> I had 20 points left. Yeah. Uh, Broodlords, these have just got rending claws. Broodlords have got scything talons as well. Okay, and more little grubs for his wounds. wounds. Unit of three warriors, these aren't WYSIWYG. These are just stock scything talons and devourers. Okay, lovely. Uh, fast attack, I guess these are? Don't look at them too close, they're not finished. <laughs> <laughs> Those are gargoyles. Just ten of them. Yeah, okay. And what are these, elites? Uh, elites... Uh, Zolanthrope, Venomthrope. And are these both heavy? Uh, yep, both so heavy. Side. Can't affect. These um, slightly thing talons are because I glued them on before I knew anything about the game. <laughs> and they don't count for anything. <laughs> they Same do with the cool tail. Way. Same with this thing. None of that exists. <laughs> it's just, just the devourers. Twin link devourers. Look yeah. at that base. That's amazing. And lots of uh, okay. dead ultramarines. I think yeah. it's worth mentioning that Arthur's been painting for like less than a year. Yeah. <laughs> He's already Spend. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and finally an exocrine, 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 whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Not based yet, unfortunately. Cool. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time on these because these are awesome. So this How did you get the gradient? Um, spray paints. I'm not sure how obvious that is to the camera. Spray paints is just yellow and red spray paints done at different angles. And the... I don't know how I well the camera is picking see. that up, but the wings uh, are sort of iridescent. Yeah, that's metallic that. paint and interference glaze. <laughs> interference <laughs> glaze. I like it very much. And yeah, these are just absolutely gorgeous, even down to the little leopard spots on every every single model. So these are awesome, and I very much look forward to seeing many, many more points of these on the board. I look forward to sweeping them off the table into a bin. <laughs> <laughs> Every turn. <laughs> that's the no, plan. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be. I'm sure they'll be great. Okay, so that's the thousand points of Tyranids. We've seen the Dark Angels. So turn one, Tyranids, coming up. This is the end of the movement phase in turn one for the Tyranids. So the flying hive tyrant has popped into. Is it swoop? Swoop. Swooping mode, yeah. just moved up 24. Um, looking at these fellas down here for some, maybe some psychic stuff or some shooting. The gargoyles just jumped up and over the woods, uh, they're full 12, and everything over here has moved its full distance. Just trying to sweep round through gates of the city. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> through the gates into the square just to try and get to grips with the... Uh, Rules. Crunchy, crunchy dark angels <laughs> and the rules. Um, yeah, that's a good point, actually. I should just make a little quick mention of this. This is only the f second game of 40k Arthur's ever played. Yeah. Um, so if you're watching and you're a little bit confused as to why he's done certain things, it's because he's trying to get to grips to the, with the rules and just testing stuff out to see how things work. And I'm doing um, the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody now knows you enough well to know that you've played more than two games of 40k. Um, so we'll, I will be helping him out as much as I can because I'm just filming and just sort of 
I don't like Dark Angels very much, so I really want Arthur to win. Um, That's the hive mind. I'm the, I am the hive mind today. <laughs> um, so, yeah, please bear with us, but we really hope you enjoy it, because it is great to see these armies on the table, and it will be a good fun game regardless. Um, so, that aside, let's get on to the psychic phase in turn one for the Tyranids. Turn one psychic phase, the horror uh, failed to cast on two dice. Yes, two of the power right. dice. He only had six power dice because um, he rolled a one for warp charges. And then he did a warp blast. Yeah, warp burst blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, warp blast using the small template um, landed on this chap's head. Uh, direct hit. So clip the back of the rhino. Did a glancing hit I on the front, but I Will then I saved think. with his fence save. Did two wounds on the three guys it was touching, and Will then made both of his cover saves. Yep. So, unfortunately, it was not particularly effect, uh, eventful, but no. hopefully the shooting phase will be. Who knew you couldn't summon magic through a fence place? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Okay, so turn one shooting for the Tyranids. Let's go. So that's the end of the shooting phase and the end of turn one for the Tyranids there's no assaults. Uh, so the Gene Stealers, Zoanthrope, Carnifex, Venomthrope, Exocrine, and Warriors all ran. Yeah. Um, some further than others. Looking at you, Venomthrope, with your one inch run. Uh, the Gargoyles have run up into cover here, and the Hive Tyrant fired its twin link devourers at the Rhino, did two hull points, and Just stunned, uh, sh shook it, so it's snap fire only uh, in this turn. So that's that. No first blood, unfortunately, but very, very close on the Rhino. Uh, and we're going into Dark Angels, turn one. Turn one movement phase for the Dark Angels. I think the only things that really happened was that Rhino shifted forward six. Yep. The Cortus Contemptor moved forward six. Yep. And this Rhino moved forward six. That was about it. Nothing else moved. Yeah. Um, well, we all know why the Scorpius didn't move. Uh, <laughs> he's going to unleash his Orbital Bombardment, I would have thought, because there's quite a tasty little pile over there. Uh, and shooting. there's lots of shooting, I think. Uh, okay, so shooting phase, turn one. Yep. Dark Angels, let's go. All right, so turn one shooting for the Dark Angels was fairly good. The Cortus Dreadnought, this Rhino snap fired at the Hive Tyrant did nothing. This squad also snap fired at the Hive Tyrant. The Bolters themselves did nothing. The Heavy Bolters, one of them rolled an AP1 and the other one rolled AP2 because three. of those... Oh, three, sorry. Because of those acid shells that they've got. Uh, they got one... One hit. One hit, one wound. Jink was failed. And then the grounding test was failed as well. Yeah. So he is now I'm grounded. Sorry. Sorry. So he's lost two wounds. Uh, the Gargoyles are unharmed. This Rhino over here... Tried to fire at the Gene Stealers but missed. The orbital bombardment was used from the Damocles Rhino. Uh, killed four oh. Gene Stealers, I think. I think, yeah, well, there's five gone. Yeah, there's one Yes. That's um, and did, didn't do a wound on the Broodlord. No. Uh, this squad, the two heavy bolters, tried to fire at the Carnifex. Did a wound, yep. I believe. And the Scorpius got two shots this turn. Uh, landed them both on the Gene Stealers, killed one, and did two wounds to the Broodlord. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So that's not bad. Still very, no yeah. first blood, um, and we're going on to turn two for the Tyranids. Let's go. So turn two movement phase for the Tyranids, and uh, first blood has been scored. Which is pretty cool. So everything over here has just moved up, really. Yeah. Um, the Zoanthrope has moved slightly around to get some Warp Blast line of sight down at these two Rhinos, the Damocles Command Rhino probably. Crappy move through cover on the Tyranid Warriors. Yeah. Crappy. They are. But hopefully they'll be they'll be able to run through, hopefully if you get decent Ooh. distance on them. The Hive Tyrant took off again. Yeah. Uh, Vector struck the Rhino on the way through. Got a penetrating hit. Yeah. Rhino then exploded. Kill two of the gargoyles. Yeah. So that's the first blood there from the rhino. And we're now moving on to the psychic phase in turn two for the Tyranids. 
So that is the end of the psychic phase. Um, end of the psychic phase in turn two for the Tyranids. So the you got ten walk charges. Yeah. Um, the flying hive tyrant attempted to uh, horror. horror these guys, but failed miserably. Yeah. Didn't manifest it. The zone throat horrored these chaps, and they failed their leadership test. Will chose not to attempt to deny it because the walk lance. Was slightly more of a threat. Perfectly aimed at the side of this contempt to court us. Um, uh, manifested it fine. Will failed to dis. Oh, uh, you had a perils of the warp though. Will failed to deny it. And then Arthur missed. Um, and <laughs> rolled a five on his perils result and passed his leadership test, so nothing bad happened at all. So, move shooting phase. Yep. Turn two for the Tyranids. Let's see what death and destruction can be wreaked. Turn two shooting phase for the Tyranids. Carnifex and Zoanthrope are making a break for it around this corner because this squad's pinned, so obviously they're slightly safer down there. The Venomthrope and the Gene Stealers have just run. A few inches each. The Exocrine fired at that Rhino. Yeah. One pen and immobilized it. The two front warriors fired at this veteran squad. Killed the sergeant. Yep. Which is quite unfortunate for Will. Uh, the Gargoyles also fired at this veteran squad. Did they kill the Marine? No, they didn't do any wounds. No, the and then the Hive Tyrant, who was jinking last turn, so snap firing this turn, killed one more Marine. Um, and that's about so, it. Yeah. So we're going on to assault phase. Are you charging those guys in? Yeah. Yeah. Why? So the gargoyles are going into. Are going to try and get into the veteran squad. Um, to inflict as many blind tests as possible. Yeah. I think is the plan. Uh, okay. So that's that. We'll come back to you at the end of the assault phase. Turn two for the tyrannids. Okay, so that's the uh, end of the assault phase okay. for the gargoyles. Uh, they attempted to charge into this veteran squad. The veterans overwatched and killed one yep. on Overwatch. Yep. And then the gargoyles failed the charge, unfortunately. So we're moving on to the shooting phase for the. Uh, no, a big. I like to move. That's the okay. movement phase. <laughs> oh, I get another shooting phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The movement phase for the Dark Angels in turn two. Okay, so turn two movement phase. Will's just finishing off a couple of models. Um, what has happened? The guys over there, the veteran squad in the building, haven't done anything because they were pinned last turn. Mm -hmm. uh, the Scorpius, unsurprisingly, is at the back still. That guy's immobilised, hasn't moved. This rhino has moved up. Uh, the Delegatus is probably going to throw a frag grenade at the gargoyles. Yep, have a hatch. Uh, the Contempt of Quarters has moved up. He's going to charge into the gargoyles. He has overcharged himself to get plus one initiative, so he's initiative five. These guys have just shuffled around a bit, and they're probably looking to unleash hails of rapid-fire sniper bolts at uh, these guys, at the uh, Hive Tyrant. Yep, that's the plan. So that's that, and we're on to shooting now. Uh, turn two for the Tyranids. Uh, nope, not for the Tyranids. <laughs> no, Damn it. That's Damn it. <laughs> Turn two shooting for the Dark Angels. I promise I'll get this right one day. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so turn two shooting phase for the Dark Angels. Oh, did you shoot? Well, yeah. Oh, didn't know. He did, yeah. I don't oh, think you didn't really need no to be one, in the no room, though, to be honest. <laughs> um, and the combined might of the First Legion, all the veterans. All the rhinos, the dreadnought, the Scorpius, and the Delegatus throwing a crack grenade, a frack grenade. Uh, it, a combined total of two gene stealers yep. and one gargoyle. It was amazing. Was killed. It was, uh, it was the frag grenade that killed a gene, the gargoyle. Yeah, it was. The uh, veterans and the quarters fired at the hive tyrant. Did nothing. He didn't. Did not jink. The rhinos did. N oh, this, this rhino killed a yeah, that gene, killed stealer. gene stealer. These guys fired their snapshots at the Carnifex, but did nothing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the other gene stealer was killed by the Scorpius, which once again only rolled one that additional sense. shot. Uh, so that's that. We're going on to turn three. There's no assaults because obviously the quarters 
Uh, Cortis damage, damage roll, potentially. <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, because the Cortis fired at the Hive Tyrant instead of the Gargoyles, so there's no assaults this turn. So we're going on to turn three for the Tyranids, and I think we're going to get quite a lot of combats this turn, yeah. and many, many things getting devoured and psychic, power, psychic blasted to death. Mm, yeah. uh, <laughs> okay, so we're back in a bit. Turn three. So many restrictions on moving back, actually, isn't there? No, sign ups really hasn't come into play all that much, does it? Because you've managed to keep everything in, together. In kind of pods. Yeah. Then it, it sort of works out fine. So, this is the end of the Tyranid movement phase for turn three. I'm shrouded to everyone. <laughs> the <laughs> Hive Tyrant has stayed where he is because he's got Electroshock Grub, so he's going to fire over this way. The, oh, uh, difficult terrain, dangerous terrain test on yes. the gargoyles. Yeah. So they've yeah. just jumped yeah. into the building. So they're within six of the venom throat, so they're all shrouded as well. Uh, the gene stealers have moved forwards. They're probably going to end up charging this in the assault phase. Ah. The warriors have moved forwards forward. They have moved, moved through cover. The x screen stayed where it is. He's got beautiful line of sight through to the contemptor through the windows. The carnifex has moved up into cover there to be shooting at these chaps, I assume. There's a veteran objectives. squad in there. You do need to see what that objective is. And the zone throw has moved up as well. So I think the plan is warp blast and horror these guys again. Um, so we're moving on to the psychic phase. Uh, do you want to do the dangerous terrain test for these guys? Yeah, what do I do? You've got six left. So all, for all of them, yeah? Yep. And then any ones you take wounds. Oh, yes. yes. Ones? Oh! Yeah. That's two, so now six up armor save. This could be good. So oh, that could just be two gargoyles die. Oh! oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, one, in your face. so one of those gargoyles dies. Can I choose? Um, yep, it doesn't matter which one. Um, so, yeah, let's go on to the psychic phase in turn three for the Tyranids. Okay, so that's a very different psychic, psychic phase this time around. Um, only rolled one for the additional warp charges, so tried to horror these guys again. But failed to cast it. Yep. Yep. And then attempted a warp blast on these guys. Hit two, but perils. Both cover saves were made because they've gone to ground in a building. And then he rolled a one for his perils test, but passed his leadership. So he's just taken a wound on the zone throat down there. So that's that. We're going into shooting phase turn three for the Tyranids now. And we'll see how much of this little pocket of stuff is left over afterwards. So that's the end of turn three's shooting phase for the Tyranids. That was pretty good, I yeah. think it's fair to say. Um, the X Cream was rubbish. I'm, I'm sorry to say. Yeah. Didn't do he fired a large blast at the Contemptor, which scattered over here. Did nothing at all. The Warriors fired at this veteran squad, killing off one. The Gargoyles fired at the veteran squad, didn't do anything. The Hive Tyrant using his Electroshock Grubs, did one hull point to the Contemptor and one hull point to the Rhino. Didn't hurt the tactical squad, the veteran squad that he also clipped two of. And then his Twin Link Devourer, the one he was allowed to fire, just destroyed the Contemptor, basically. Yep. Um, I think he got three, three pens. Yeah, so that was four hull points in total, so he's gone. Um, the Carnifex has killed... Three from this squad? Yes, three. Yeah. Yeah. Including the sergeant um, and one of the heavy bolters. And that's all the shooting. So we're on to assault phase. What's going where? I assume the gene stealers yep. going into the rhino. Are charging the rhino. Are these guys charging? Those are going to charge. Okay. Um, Interesting. Because I just really want to use that blinding attack. Cool. However ridiculous that might be. It's quite a long charge. Yeah, it is. Isn't it's it? quite a long charge, and I suppose you do get the problem is you do get Overwatch against you. Try yeah, and go for it. The fact that I'm charging out of difficult terrain make any difference? It makes just because you're going through two adds two to the charge distance, oh, right, and yeah, it makes yeah, you initiative one. Fuck, oh, this is a bad idea. I'm not going <laughs> to charge. Okay, so just the genius of it. Do you want to roll that one up on camera? Yeah, we've worked it out. We think you need an eight, but you have got fleet, so you can re-roll one or both die if you die if you want to. That's seven. Let's check that. <laughs> That's a three and a four. It's definitely eight. Yeah, give it a try. I'm pretty sure it's an eight. Yeah, it's eight. It's eight. Okay. Okay, so he's just re-rolling the one. 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> so failed charge on the Gene Stealer. So we're moving on to turn three for the Dark Angels. Uh, let's see if Will can pull some magic out of the bag and make a change. Here we go. That's the end of the movement phase for the Dark Angels. Uh, I think all that happened was these veterans have just shimmied around a bit in the building to try and get as many shots on the Carnifex over there as they can. And I think equally these ones have just shimmied around to get as many shots on the Hive Tyrant as they can. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shooting phase, turn three, Dark Angels. So, yeah. turn three, much better shooting from the Dark Angels. Yeah. The Scorpius fired up and over at the Venom Throat. Two hits on that and two hits on the Warrior next to it. Killed the Warrior, but both cover saves made for the Venom Throat, which was pretty cool. The Veteran Squad in the building here killed the Carnifex. Boo! <laughs> both Rhinos here fired at the Gene Steelers, but did not wound. <laughs> Chaplain here, the Delegatus fired a, or threw a frag, frag grenade. grenade at the uh, Gargoyles, but didn't wound there either. And this veteran squad fired everything it had at the Hive Tyrant, did a wound. Yes. But then he passed his grounding test. Yes. So he's okay. And we're moving on to... Honey jinked. So oh, honey jinked. Yes, he is so jinked. Okay. So we're moving on to turn four now for the Tyranids. So that's the end of the yeah, movement phase yeah, for the Tyranids turn four. The x screen stayed where it was, the Venom Throat stayed where it was, the Warriors have just moved up and through the fence. It doesn't oh. look like they're moving The Gene all. Steelers, I know, they're incredibly <laughs> slow. Really the Gene Steelers moved up to practically guarantee that charge on the Rhino. The Gargoyles jumped up and out, dangerous terrain tests on these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. jumping out of the terrain. Good point. The Venom, uh, the Zone Throat has moved up to grab onto that objective, and the Hive Tyrant has just flown from over here. To probably get side shots into the. <gasps> okay, so it's one danger thing. Probably side shots into the Scorpius, but maybe some other stuff. Six plus safe. Thank you very much. Um, hey! <laughs> the gargoyles are fine. Okay, so we're going on to psychic phase for turn four for the Tyranids. So psychic phase over for turn four. The zone throat tried to horror these guys. It went off, but he will pass his leadership test. He then tried to warp blast them, but failed to cast it. Yeah. And then the Hive Tyrant used warp lance on the side of the Scorpius and then rolled a six with a penetrating hit result. So the Scorpius blew up. Uh, shooting face. Turn four for the Tyrants. See what's left afterwards. Don't think Will's very happy at the moment. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of the shooting phase, turn four for the Tyranids. So the Exocrine, once again, is useless when it comes to firing blasts. Yeah. So I think from now on, you've just got to fire his assault weapon Streams instead. Streams instead. Um, so he attempted to shoot these veterans and scattered over there somewhere. The Warriors did nothing against the veterans. The Gargoyles killed a veteran, which was nice. The Gene Steelers didn't do anything, so we haven't got any guns, the Zone Throw hasn't done anything. And the Hive Tyrant on snapshots fired at the veterans in the building there, and two wounds but both saved. Perfect. So we're on to Assault. Do you want to roll your Gene Stealer Assault? Yes, I do. You need three with Fleet. Three inches with a reroll. Number ones, here we go. Oh no, oh, yeah. two, two, two dice. <laughs> Just as I rolled them, I thought, hang on, I've got to get three. <laughs> Why am I rolling these? Uh, okay, yeah, 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 excellent. And are the gargoyles going in? Uh, what? Are they going into the veterans? What they could what do. You, you could charge the gargoyles at the veterans. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was thinking of Gene Steelers. I'm going mental. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. Okay, yeah. Overwatch? Yep, let's do some Overwatch. Mm -hmm. May as well film it. Yep. While we're here. We'll be within 12. Yes, we are. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 bolt shots and 3 heavy bolt shots. Uh, 2 bolter, uh, 3 bolter hits. 2 bolt hits. And the heavy bolter? And the heavy bolter is doesn't AP... Matter. Doesn't matter, but it's AP3. Because AP6 ignores their armor anyway. Yes, it does. 
Any more sixes on the... It's like cocked, it. unfortunately. That was just six. Nah. Oh, nah. Okay, so just three goals <laughs> hits. They're threes. One wound. Cool, man. So it's one dead, actually, one I think. Um, yeah. So it's one dead. That's the guy that killed the heavy bolter. It is. Loves yeah. this guy. Well done. Okay. So now that's yeah. added an extra two inches to your charge. So you're probably looking at ten Ooh. or higher. Ten or more, I would say, on, on two dice this time around. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Yeah! No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, double check the distance. We will double check the distance, <laughs> but I'm pretty like. sure that's probably in within an eleven. Um, so we'll make we'll move these up, we'll resolve them, and then we'll come back to you. So that's the end of the assault phase. Um, in turn four for the Tyranids. Um, <clears throat> the gargoyles, the hive mind, me got a little <laughs> bit confused when recommending what to do. Uh, I forgot that the gargoyles will be striking at initiative one. Arthur is really desperate to try the blinding ability they've got for their close combat weapons. And uh, I forgot the negatives to initiative, so they just got absolutely murdered by that veteran squad in there. Um, which is unfortunate. Uh, and then the Gene Steelers ran in and completely destroyed the uh, Rhino. And they've just consolidated around a couple of inches. So, pretty soon, it'll be... Dark Angel's movement turn four. Right, I actually missed Will's no. movement phase. Um, I'm guessing he moved his rhino into there and disembarked with the dude, yep. the Delegatus. I think they just shuffled around they a bit. shuffled. Down a bit. and across, and these guys did the same. Looks like they're all going to be shooting at this guy. Yay! <laughs> plan. Okay, so let's get into the shooting phase on turn four for the Dark Angels. That's the end of the shooting phase, turn four for the Dark Angels. The Damocles <laughs> Rhino and the uh, Delegatus fired at the Gene Steelers, did absolutely nothing. These guys here fired at the Hive Tyrant, did nothing. Didn't do anything. And then these guys fired at the Hive Tyrant. Kill him! And killed him. Yay! Failed one. He had, to, yeah, he had, had one save. armor save and save. two Jinx saves. He failed. He passed the armor save. I failed one of the jinx. Yeah. And he passed his shame. Save. And he passed, yeah, these guys won one wound and he passed saves. the jinx. Yeah. Just couldn't shame. quite make the last one. Well, he's, so. He was on borrowed time, really. So that's yeah. Slay the Warlord for uh, <laughs> the Dark Angels. Okay. First point. <laughs> First point for Will. Uh, turn five. Uh, Gene Stillers. Uh, Tyranids, even. Coming up. So, movement phase, turn five for the Tyranids. The Exocrine has finally moved. Yep. Uh, he's looking down here. He's either got the veterans in his sights or possibly back into the Rhino, I guess. Um, the Venomthrope and Warriors have also shimmied around a bit. The Xenothrope stayed where he is, over there, holding onto that objective. And the g Studios have broken cover, moving into cover. And they're going to go after the Delegatus for, claim the uh, for Slay the Warlord. You actually get an additional point for slaying the Delegatus. Oh, I didn't know that. I did tell you when you, you wrote me a list. Yes, you uh, did. You did. Look, psychic you phase. Dribble? No, the Delegatus, yeah. this guy in here. So oh, when, well, yeah, yeah. if and when you kill him, um, yeah. he's actually worth two points yes. for Slay the Warlord instead of one. What is that? It's just one of his rules. Oh, cool. Um, Thanks. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to psychic phase, turn five, for the Tyranids. Okay, that's the end of the assault uh, psychic phase, yes, even. Yes, end of the, end of the phase. psychic phase for the Tyranids. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Zoanthrope over here cast the horror on these guys, and they failed their leadership test. Will attempted to dispel it and okay. failed, so they are pinned. He did do minus two, didn't he? Yeah. Yes, he did. Thank you. And then he also tried Ward Blood, but failed to, uh, failed to cast that one. And this guy cast the horror on these guys. Or not. They passed their leadership test. Oh, yes. yes. That's right. So now we're on to the shooting phase. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're on to the shooting phase for the Tyranids in turn five. So that's the end of the shooting phase for the Tyranids. Not particularly effective this time, I have to say. Shit dice. Shit dice, yeah. Somebody, oh, somebody's yeah. corrupted um, <laughs> Arthur's awesome dice. Um, so the, devour the Warriors fired their Devourers at the Veterans here and killed one. <laughs> The Exocrine then fired its six-shot assault thing at the veterans as well. Only one hit, 
did wound, but uh, Will made his cover save. So we're going into the assault phase now. And the Gene Steelers are doing the disordered charge, or are they just charging the Warlord? They're going to do the disordered charge. Okay, like so you will need... They've got moves through cover, so it's not minus two. I would say a four, maybe a five. Yeah. Overwatch first. Ah, that's so go for it. Crack grenade. Ooh, and then see if can finally use a grenade well. Okay. No. No, <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> okay. So, uh, do you want to roll your charge distance? You probably need a five. Number ones. 2d6 for the charge distance, but you've got a fleet so you can re-roll it. Okay. One or both if you want to. Seven, Ooh, you're, you're, you're in. I'm alright. Okay, Just roll cool. it anyway, yeah. Twelve. <laughs> I've wasted the six. Okay, so uh, he's in with both of those uh, units, so we will resolve this and come back to you. Okay, that's the end of combat. Um, the uh, Gene Stealer didn't do any wounds, uh, any hull points. Excuse me to the Rhino. And the Broodlord completely fluffed all of his wounds, yeah. and then got punched in the face with a power fist. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Um, he was only obviously only on one wound left, so that's why he is dead. Uh, that's it. Turn five for the Dark Angels. Yep. Coming up. Turn five movement, Dark Angels. Very, very quick. These guys are pinned. Didn't move. These guys just jumped down from the building. Looking at the warriors, but maybe a run for the objective. Obviously, we don't know. We're on turn five. It might finish now. And the Rhino's busted through the wall. He's going to take some pot shots probably this side. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll find out shortly though, because it's shooting phase. Dark Angels turn five. So that was the end of the shooting phase in turn five for the Dark Angels. The Rhino killed the Venom Throat, which was fairly effective <laughs> with its combi bolter. <laughs> and these veterans down here killed one of the warriors. So we're now going on to... Oh, and these guys... Shot the zone throw, but did absolutely nothing. Uh, we're going on to combat. Yep. Can the Gene Stealer, with two attacks and toxin sacks, to be sacks. fair, kill the Delegatus? Should we roll it on camera? Yeah. Could be a good Let's one. Do it. Yeah. Two attacks. Right. Let's do it. Let's skill, down here somewhere. Weapon skill five, I want to say, on a Gene Stealer? I think it's four. They're not as scary as. Six. Oh, yeah. Okay, so threes to, threes threes to hit. hit. Here we go. Oh. Yes. Okay. Double hit. Him. Fours to wound with a re-roll. Yeah. Where's the poison come into this? The re-roll. Re ah. And the fours to wound, to be fair. To one wound. wound. So re-roll the three. No. Ah, so and just the one wound. Save. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ah, it's fine. Okay, so Delegatus and then his two, yeah. three, two attacks, special weapon. Back. He's got three base. Okay. That's three hits. He's dead. Uh, yeah, that G Steelers. <laughs> it's only just dead. But yeah, G Steelers dead. So Delgatus can now consolidate. Uh, one. So. Tyria, does the game continue? Is it. Three, up. three plus on this turn? That's a five. Game continues into turn six. We have a an X Cream, a Warrior. And his own throat left for the Tyranids. We have half a squad of veterans, maybe yeah. a little bit over. Half a squad of veterans, a Delegatus, and the right. Rhino. So let's do it. Movement phase, turn six for the Tyranids. End of movement, turn six for the Tyranids. The x screen has moved forwards, coming after the Rhino. The Warrior is just hiding behind the wall. He's out of range of the majority of these veterans over here, and these guys can't actually see him. And Zoanthrope has come aground, and he is going to do... He's got a view over the barricade at the Warlord, just there. He's going to attempt to laser bullet him in the face, Good luck, in the Psychic Phase, which could be entertaining if he pulls it off. Let's do Psychic Phase now. Yes. London so, <laughs> yeah. strength 10 lance. I hate this game. He's dead. <laughs> he, failed, he went to ground um, and then failed his cover save. Love that guy. Um, so we'll move on to How the shooting phase now. <laughs> he, no, is he killed? He's oh. killed all of them. Millions of all points. Of, all of them. All of them. Um, so we're going on to shooting phase. I think this is going to probably make it almost unwinnable now for Will. 
But we'll continue on to World's Turn 6 anyway, and then we'll see what happens. So, yes, shooting phase for the Tyranids, turn 6. So we've combined the turn 6 shooting and assault phases uh, for the Tyranids, because there was only one thing that did anything in either phase. Um, oh no, beg your pardon, the Zone Throat ran back onto the objective over there. So he's holding on to that one. The Exocrine fired at the Rhino, did one whole point, yep, yep. then charged in and did one whole point. So that Rhino is now destroyed. He did pen it, but uh, it was nothing important. It didn't explode. So that's that. Will has two veteran squads left. Yep. One half strength, one about two thirds strength. Let's see what he can do in his turn. This is turn six for the Dark Angels. What has happened? The veteran squad that was in front of that building there has just moved across. We've got one guy holding onto this objective now. Yep. And this squad has just strung itself out a little bit. They can all see... Apart from him, he can't. ...the zone throw, apart from the dude at the top. So it's going to shooting. Phase for the Dark Angels. Turn six. Okay, so that's the end of turn six, and that is the end of the game. Will's just rolled to see if the game continues into seven and rolled a two. So, the end of the shooting phase for the Dark Angels in turn six. What happened? The veterans over here fired at the zone throat, did a wound, but he saved it with his invulnerable. And the veterans over there, the snipers, God, will roll two double sixes to hit and then two double sixes to wound. Yeah. So that was two unsavable rending wounds on the turned warrior in there. So we'll calculate points now. And we'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so we've calculated victory points, <laughs> and it was a victory to the Tyranids. Seven points to four in the end. Uh. Holding on to this objective here, the Tyranids got first blood. They also got Slay the Warlord. There's an additional victory point for killing the Delegatus. And the Tyranids killed more of the Dark Angels than the Dark Angels did of the Tyranids. So, special rule. <laughs> so <laughs> Arthur got D3 additional victory points. He rolled himself a 1, so he got 7. And Will is holding on to that objective and got Slay the Warlord. Unit of the game, Will? I know it's quite one difficult. Of, one of the veteran squads? <laughs> well, not that one. No, that one was awesome. Although they killed the, the Carnifex. They did kill the But that effects. one killed the... Hive Tyrant, Hive Tyrant and, and probably the most of other stuff. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did punch the Broodlord in the face. He did. Yeah. He was quite um, good, yeah. And then, um, and then when the Lance was coming on, he was just like, yeah, what? <laughs> he, no, he, <laughs> he, said, no, he, he went, went, went to, to ground. ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> While he was hiding underground, he was like, yeah, yeah what? I don't um, know. Arthur. <laughs> uh, it's got to be the Zone Throat. I would. I'm inclined to agree. Well, I mean, do you reckon? Do you agree? Fifty points of uh, yeah. He did so, my so three times. I should yeah. have counted how many points he did, but he was probably the only thing that did over his consistently points. killed loads of stuff. Yeah, uh, mm, yeah. He probably was probably actually. Hive Tone didn't really do that much. In no, there. just it was good really distraction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was great. So, but, first yeah. proper game of forty k, Arthur. Yeah. How did you find it? I hate it. It's, terrible. <laughs> it's never going to play like, again. I can't believe I've invested a year of my life on this shit. <laughs> it has <laughs> taken us <laughs> five and a half hours <laughs> to play a thousand point game. Yeah, 3,000 um, next time, guys. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think um, we all no, have to take great. the week off. It's great. Um, but, it. as we said at the beginning, this, this was a tutorial game really for Arthur because it's, it's the first yeah, I mean, proper I, game he's played. I wasn't trying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't give <laughs> us <laughs> that. Lovely. We're such a good guy. Guy. Don't yeah. give us yeah. that. Okay, so <laughs> we hope you enjoyed that. It's really, really great to see the Tyranids on the on the channel because they look fantastic and judging by today they're going to be a bit of a force to be reckoned with I think. Mm. Um, very nice to see the 30k Dark Angels. Although I don't think Will particularly likes them very much at the moment. No, they're not my but that'll today. be nice for me with my 30k stuff. So we might actually get some proper 30k battle reports up Definitely. at some stage for you. And we very much hope you enjoyed that. We had an yeah. absolute good game. blast playing that. It was very good fun. War very good fun. Blast? Dare no. I say? No. We didn't have a war blast. No. <laughs> we had an absolute blast absolute playing that. Um, playing an that. absolute <laughs> loved. Um, it was great. And we really hope you enjoyed the video. Please chuck us a like, drop us some comments, 
and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We really appreciate it, and we'll try and get as much out as soon as we can. Cheers, guys.